Hey guys, welcome back to method four. Infinite peace lies in the absence of presence. We are usually taught in enlightenment type of teachings that peace is to know the presence of this moment. And in a way that's true. To know the presence beyond all form to know that stable, changeless presence of I am above all the changing things that come and go. And in a very real way, this offers very real presence. So nothing at the expense of that. However, when I first popped this bubble of presence awareness and the void or the infinite gap or the infinite, was opened up to, was intuited, was realized, was instinctually realized. The peace that came with that was absolute. Total. Complete. I felt that nothing ever belonged to me. Nothing that ever happened in all of creation, but specifically my life belonged to me anymore. So this is comparable, like we can compare it a little bit to, well, let's say that presence is sort of like a coping mechanism. It's a form of peace, but it's almost like a coping mechanism for all the things that happen to you mentally, emotionally, spiritually, all the turmoil, all the things you don't know anything about, all the confusion, all the questions, all the seeking. And then presence is your safe haven. You can return to it and realize that it is always already here and it can liberate you from overly attaching yourself to the changing winds of your experience. However, in a sense, it's still a way to cope with the realm of experiences and the realm of identity. So it can be peaceful for a while, and at some point you might want to penetrate a little deeper into the infinite mystery of the One, and realize that true peace is gained by completely annihilating the illusion of a self altogether, at least for a moment, at least penetrating it, not dismissing the appearance and the illusion of a self, but to know that the infinite that you are is ultimately beyond all of experiences and therefore definitely beyond all of your life and everything that ever happened to you, everything you've ever done, everything that will ever happen to you and everything you will ever do because the game continues. It's not like it ends, but a sense of self or a sense of core identity starts to disappear and you become more transparent. More on that later in this course. However, for now, just understand that presence is peaceful because it's present all the time. But true peace comes from realizing the absence of presence. Because now, even the presence of presence is no longer bothering you. In my early days of realizing this, I usually compared it to a fly just buzzing around in the room, representing presence in an ocean of infinity. Yes, presence is peaceful, but when you are ready for more peace, when you are ready for knowing the infinite, when you're ready for truly letting go, then some, suddenly you might feel that the sense of beingness, the sense of presence, becomes a little bit like a burden. It's just hanging around your consciousness. It's just hanging around in your awareness, the sense of presence. You're not even cultivating it anymore. It's just like, oh, I am, yeah. Oh, I'm still here. Oh, I still exist. I exist. The sense of I exist becomes burdensome at some point for some people, not for everyone per se, depending on how relevant this is for you. It's neither good nor bad neither better nor worse, neither higher nor lower. It's just what is relevant for you to experience. But for me, it felt very much like the sense of presence was basically like a fly buzzing around in my consciousness all the time that just wouldn't stop. 
until I pop the bubble and realize that actually I am beyond presence awareness. That is when a sense of infinite peace came in. And I also often equate it to plugging your phone into the wall and recharging it while you're not using it. Realizing or recognizing infinity, especially with repeated use after just the first realization of it, the first realization is what's the most crucial in a way, but the reapplying of it, why would you reapply it? Well, you reapply it in a way to recharge your consciousness with the ability to then again perform applications, execute applications, be aware of experiences, engage with life, be excited about what's here. If you are not aware of yourself as infinity, as nothingness in a way, it's not nothingness, but let's just use that term as well. When you are completely oblivious to that and you're always under the strain of assuming that you are a dense presence or a dense I am and it's never transparent to the infinite, to whatever is beyond itself, then presence awareness will assert itself as an identity inevitably in some ways. And that is what becomes tiring. That is what becomes exhausting. So I equate the beyondness or infinity teachings or methods as especially talking about it right now after the initial realization, because we're all trying to get to the initial recognition of it. But once that is established, then what? Then it's always accessible, it's always available. It doesn't require a lot of practice, it just requires a certain insight. It's a slightly different from practicing presence or practicing awareness. It doesn't require nearly as much practice. It's more effortless when it happens, when it is seen, when it is recognized. Of course, there is something which is nothing, which is infinite, which is indescribable, beyond the bubble of awareness. Of course, there is something beyond isness. Of course, I am beyond presence consciousness. Of course, presence awareness is but a speck of dust floating around on an ocean of infinity. Of course. And it all sounds very fancy and metaph metaphysical, but it's a very simple, direct, instinctual, experiential slash non-experiential realization. It doesn't mean that you have to become the whole universe and then see that that's not who you are. It just means that you realize there is something right here, right now, which is beyond the density or the vibration of presence awareness. Like the nothingness that sourced, the potential that sourced this awareness. When you realize that and the presence starts to become transparent, then presence itself leaves you alone as well. It becomes optional. Now that is infinite peace. When peace, is no longer required. When peace leaves your field of vision, then you're truly peaceful. Then you can truly access infinite peace. Again, nothing at the expense of the value and benefit that comes with the peace of presence awareness. Just realize this again, play around with this. I know this method wasn't really much of a method, more so just a, an insight that you can utilize and contemplate and use it as a method and have fun with and enjoy. And I hope you get to experience the infinite peace that is there already effortlessly when you're no longer so focused on experiencing experiences, even if just for two to five seconds.